Yo, this chapter of the Promised Neverland, wow. This chapter was, this chapter was pretty intense, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I really actually do want to see an anime for this series now. I mean, of course, this is only the 25th chapter of the series, but I'm already, like, very into this series. Like, I actually do want to see, you know, an anime for this. This definitely has potential to actually have an anime in the near future. So, anyway, what happened in this episode, or, Jesus, why do I always say episode? What happened in this chapter of The Promised Neverland? So, to give you the rundown, we see from last week's episode that, you know, Mama ends up catching up to Emma and Norman and starts to end up, you know, interrogating them, so to speak, and basically tells her, I finally caught up to you. So, now we see in this chapter that Emma and Norman are, you know, in, in a little situation. You know, Mama's here. Where is Gilda? Where is Ray? You know, what's going on here? How come Mama is standing right here in front of us? And they're just thinking about the whole situation. What the fuck, you know, are they going to do now, so to speak? Because, you know, now they have hit a, you know, wall. Now that Mama is uh, in front of them, they don't know how they can actually carry on the investigation. Yo, but when Mama ended up saying to Emma and Norman that, you know, they are mere livestock and she is the farmer, I'm like, yo, dude, yo. I mean, it was kind of already apparent from, you know, the very first chapter that obviously these kids were livestock you know, for these so-called demons that, you know, definitely, you know, this prison that they were living in was very shady to begin with. But I mean, we really don't know what goes behind the scenes when it comes to the, you know, the, the prison that these kids are in. You know, are these demons located underground? Are they shipped to a new facility? Like, what exactly is going on here? We don't really know what is up with the demon sort of world that is, you know, ma that has made this pact with the, you know, the prisons that these kids are located at. And I mean, they're not, this is not just one prison, okay, that these kids are living at. There are actually multiple out there, so to speak. So it's going to be very, very interesting seeing how, you know, that ends up going down later down the line. But if they are to save these kids, if Norman and Emma are to save these kids, they're going to have to, you know, break into these other facilities, but at the same time, you know, that is, like, not going to be the most likely case, because just how are they going to do that? They need to first, at least, you know, get beyond the wall and actually escape from this place and, you know, find the outside world and get some help if that is the case. And once they reach the outside world, they can gather up new informations and even find people that have made a pact with um you know these individuals in the first place and their first um person that they would have to look out for is you know william minerva so we will end up seeing that go later down the line but you know we still don't really have a concrete you know information when it comes to the behind the scenes act of you know these demons so i'm still very curious as to what we will end up getting in the coming chapters to come but again from that part on, in The Promised Neverland, for this chapter at least, we see that Mama ends up declaring that, you know, she, you know, is taking on these kids merely as for a livestock to be shipped to the demons. She is the farmer, and she is caretaking for this livestock in the prison in order to make the highest quality produce she possibly can, which is, you know, the highest quality kids. Um, and then we have it to where, you know, it, it seems like Norman, you know, and uh, Emma are kind of like communicating telepathically. I mean, it kind of seems like that. Obviously, they don't. It's just that they have the same idea. And then all of a sudden, they start darting, you know, at Mama, or at least Emma does, while Norman ends up running away to hopefully um get the situation under control and actually make his way to further on this investigation because they need to make this investigation actually succeed if they are actually going to be able to get out of the prison so emma's job was to basically you know hold mama down even if it's only for a few seconds and she really didn't do that to some extent because while she was trying to 
grab the um, the clock watch from Mama that ends up tracking, you know, pretty much all the kids. While she was trying to grab that, we have it to where Mama completely just breaks her leg. Like, holy shit, you, you, you hear Emma screaming, ah, yo, yo, dude, I'm like, like, shit, <laughs> you know, that was my initial reaction. I'm like, yeah, it's gonna get worse from here on out. You know, she took out Emma, she's most likely gonna take out Norman from this point on. And after she, you know, broke Emma's, you know, leg, she says, you know, in a completely sadistic way, like, it has already happened to her before, you know, kids actually trying to escape, you know, she says that you simply all are livestock, but at the same time, I really do care about you. You have been brought up on this farm for years and years. All of these things I gave you was from my love. And I'm just like, how the fuck can you say that? You know, obviously, you know, she is completely being, you know, not truthful. She actually really doesn't like these kids at all. It's all for the sake of her rising in the ranks in order to produce, you know, the best quality produce she can for these demons. So that way she can rise in the ranks of, you know, her future endeavors. So after we see Emma's arm or excuse me, her leg getting broken. Then we have it to where Mama ends up declaring, or maybe it was Ray, but I think it was uh, Mama because uh, it was either once Ray actually reached Mama or it was either Mama herself. They end up declaring that Norman's shipping date has finally arrived. Yo, that means that Norman has a death lag. Norman does have a death flag. And this is what I've been saying before. This is what I've been saying before. Like, Emma, I know for a fact, is the main character of this, you know, series. So she's not really going to die, at least not yet. I mean, she's the main character. Sure, main characters die, but I'm pretty sure Emma is not going to die. But Norman, when it comes to Norman, he had the most likely chance, even from chapter one of The Promised Neverland, that he was going to die. There is no doubt about that. I've said this in my, uh, you know, other reviews of The Promised Neverland. Like, I'm pretty sure Norman is going to die. And seeing this as his, you know, shipping date is actually going to arrive to the point where, you know, they are literally going to push him out of the prison and take him away to, you know, get consumed by these demons. So things obviously do not look good for Norman. Will he end up breaking out? I mean, that's going to be, you know, a whole, you know, resolution in and of itself because how exactly is Emma and the gang going to focus on the investigation in order to get outside while at the same time they need to worry about, you know, saving Norman. So there's the whole little conflict when it comes to that. So what sh this is all this is going to all boil down to a choice that Emma and the group are going to have to make. You know, if they want to save uh, Norman or if they should just carry on you know with the investigation and finally make their escape but we will we will see what comes later down the line but Norman either way whether he actually ends up getting broken out from Emma in the gang if they do actually do that he's gonna die either way he already has the death flag on him and also you know th this was very apparent that most likely he was not going to make this from the beginning so he's most likely going to die in my personal opinion at least sure they make it out to be like you know various other characters will probably have some death flags as well but Norman again from the most recent chapter this chapter and obviously from what I have seen in the past chapters of the promised Neverland I'm pretty sure Norman is gonna die so that about does it for this chapter. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about this chapter of The Promised Neverland. Do you think Norman will survive? Do you think he will die? What exactly do you think is going to happen in the next chapter of The Promised Neverland? I would really like to hear your overall opinions. So with that said, I'm going to end this video. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one.